Hello, everybody. Hope that you're doing fine. Today, we are here together with MENA 3D to, 3D to present you the highest resolution drone platform that is coming to Arabic world. This is one of the webinars coming from series of phase one geospatial together with our partners, where we are trying to present you our portfolio and the specific products that are coming as solutions for the problems that you are having while dealing in the industry that you are working in. Today, here with me, it's uh, Dr. Khalid Nabud from MENA 3D and myself, Dejan Dragic, who is work I'm working as an area sales manager in phase one, and we will present you the highest resolution drone platform that is coming to the Arabic world. This is focused purely on P3 coming from phase one, and in the following slides, you will be able to hear more about the uh, introduction of, of phase one and, of course, more about MENA 3D and their actions in the region. And afterwards, we will tell you much more about the P3 and how this product can leverage your productivity. I would like to first welcome Dr. Khalid from MENA 3D and thank him for participating in the webinar. And, uh, of course, please be aware that uh, there is a question bar in the panel on the right side where you can answer all when where you can ask all your questions and these questions will be answered after the webinar and of course you, please be aware that you can ask all these questions also in arabic so we will be able to answer all these questions afterwards dr khalid please greet the audience and we can then proceed Thank you very much, Dejan, for your introduction. And uh, I hope uh, all of you are safe and good in this hard situation. Uh, we were very happy that we started cooperating uh, recently with Phase One and to introduce, as Dejan said, the highest resolution P3 sensor uh, can be mounted on different drone and one of the commercial drone M300. So the idea behind to uh, show the Arabic word as ministry the company focus on the Arabic word to, uh, to present always the latest technology in this world. Uh, I guess, Dan, you will be talking a little bit, introducing a phase one, and then maybe I can uh, talk later on about ministry. And I mm -hmm. hope all you will enjoy the webinar. Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Khalid. Yeah, I will proceed with a short, in short introduction about phase one. So, Phase One as a company is founded in 1993 in Copenhagen in Denmark. We are working worldwide and we have partners in more than 50 countries across all seven continents. And uh, our team is growing by the day. So, today we are counting more than 320 employees that are distributed in more than 11 countries. We are world leading providers of medium format digital imaging systems and solutions for industrial applications and professional photographers. Also recently, we introduced large format and oblique sensors, and you will be able to see more details about this in further slides. As a company, we are pro providing 24 seven support worldwide. And in order to achieve this, we have our support and sales centers across the globe. So in, on this map, you, are, you can see that our sales and support team is located in North America. Also, we have headquarters and R&D center in Copenhagen. We have sales and support team in Germany, whose part I am, and we have R&D center in Japan and one additional sales and support team in Hong Kong. We serve the world leading we serve the world leading brands with top image quality and productivity. So some of the applications where you can actually use our cameras are 3D cities, airborne mapping, engineering, asset management, forestry and agriculture, research, infrastructure planning, power line monitoring, open pit mining. Our cameras are basically used in geospatial business starting with 2012. And you can see that in every year we had a significant, significant, significant milestone made. So in 2021, we have announced our latest P3 drone payload. That is the best imaging sensor for, available for drones. And of course, in the year before, we have also introduced PS880, that is oblique sensor. In our portfolio, we have different camera series. So here you can see that uh, our IXM drone camera series is available as 50 and 100 megapixel. And 100 megapixel sensor can be used also as RGB and achromatic. IXM RS camera series 
is available as 100 and 150 megapixel solution and this can also be as can be used as rgb and core band solution and of course there is 280 megapixel solution that can be used as rgb um, we have a very broad range of integrations so in this slide you can see that there are many uav manufacturers that are integrating our cameras already and with p3 about which we will speak more in the further slides this range this number of integrators is even growing so you can see that our cameras can be easily used in dji m600 dji m300 a score german drones and many many others our cameras are also parts of a small multi-camera arrays and uh, of course when it comes to manned aviations we have our own in-house developed uh, phase one aerial systems and of course there are multi-camera arrays that are that are built by our integrators where our cameras are playing big part inside and of course our cameras are being integrated as part of lidar devices so since also mana 3d is distributor of regal we need to mention that uh, regal is also integrating phase one cameras so you can see that uh, such an important manufacturer recognize the quality so they are integrating from the factory phase one as part of their lidars when it comes to the applications, we can see that our IXM series can be used for road and bridge inspection, pipeline inspection, rail track inspection, wind turbine inspection, power line inspection, agricultural mapping and digital phenotyping, photogrammetrical mapping and GIS, while IXM RS series can be used for photogrammetrical mapping, for GIS, for agricultural mapping, forestry, environmental mapping, oblique imagery, 3D city modeling, imagery for LiDAR and imagery for inspection. Now I would like to hand over to Dr. Khalid, who will be able to tell you more about uh, MENA 3D and what is their scope of work. Please, Dr. Khalid, take over. Thank you, Dan, for the introduction. Um, dear audience, I would like to uh, give you some few slides about MENA 3D, who we are and what we do. Mena 3D is a German-based company uh, with a head office in Stuttgart, south of Germany. But we do have also a few offices in the Middle East and North Africa. And with our partner, we try to completely provide uh, ready, uh, fully integrated solution from hardware and software, depend on the need of the end user. Uh, we do work with many prominent and important international names and uh, to complete this solution for our customers' needs. We do have a government and research, um, many universities in Europe, but also in the Middle East and North Africa, also as a government organization. I will be talking about one of the very important projects we have done with the Kuwait government, additionally to the UAE, Dubai police, Abu Dhabi police, Qatar, uh, Doha Center of JAS, all of them we do work, and uh, there will be some cases presented afterwards. Uh, and service, we have also many service provider, who are uh, doing a lot of projects in the region and we have um, supported them with the needed solution to manufacturing mainly on the metrology and industry surveying uh, and the other division in our company we have a lot of manufacturing company who did also provide them a complete 3d laser scanning down to micrometers needed we thanks all of our uh, end user a reference who being um, faithful and working with us over the past years. Uh, about the division, as I said, we do have the metrology and geospatial. For the one who is not familiar with metrology, is simply, I always mention it in a few words, it is nothing else than a surveying for industry down to micrometer. And uh, it's also related to laser scanners, 3D laser scanner, CT, computer tomography, where today will be the webinar about the geospatial and one of the pillars in our geospatial, the UAV airborne and UAV scanning. So again, on the geospatial, as I said, we have four pillars in our division geospatial. One related to the terrestrial laser scanning with a 3D laser scanning solution. We do work with Regal and ZF over the past eight years, and we have a complete solution starting from short distance up to 6,000 meter with Regal scanner we can reach and mainly related to different surveying, uh, mining, application, road construction, and so on. 
Uh, so addition surveying, we do work with Java GPS. It's one of the best uh, 800 support channels GPS uh, in the world. And so mobile mapping solution, I will be talking on one of the very important projects with the government of Kuwait. We work also with Regal and with the for comp providing complete mobile solution. And on the UAV and drone, we will be talking about the different uh, system and sensors we provide and mainly about the P3, which is a revolutionary uh, sensor coming to the market. Again, the case of Kuwait I did mention, Mena 3D, about two, three years, we provided uh, already two mobile scanners to the PASI. PASI is a public authority of civil information in the government of Kuwait, and they are doing complete project to scan complete Kuwait. They have us a drone, mobile scanners and a lot of software is related to realize this project. And the project is ongoing and is doing a lot. There are a lot of, of publication internationally about this very important project. It's an example what they are doing about integrating all into the Kuwait Finder uh, they have and also to GIS complete 3D solution. That was one of the beginning of the project. Now they have another mobile scanner system, as I said, and drone to realize their project. With Regal, we offer aerial mapping, airborne laser scanner, and Regal is is the world leader in providing a LiDAR solution and an aerial mapping. The great advantage was brought us to work also very closely with phase one that Regal already they have in their LiDAR system integrated uh, phase one sensor. And like that, we could provide complete solution from Regal and phase one, we work very closely together with both of them. With phase one, we are offering the airborne imaging system for aerial mapping. If customers not interested in the LiDAR uh, sensor, with the Regal, we can offer with phase one only the um, airborne imaging system. And with phase one, you have up to 880 megapixels oblique and other aerial system, but also 280 megapixels aerial system to be mounted. An aircraft. Air mapping and UAV mainly on the VTOL, uh, especially VTOL. It's a very important product which is uh, offering a longer time uh, for a flight. Up to two hours, we can offer a VTOL system by uh, covering a larger area. Finally, we just signed last week, uh, which is again coming one slide showing this great advantage of the different partners we work with. Why? Uh, there is a slide uh, showing all this cooperation among all the partners. So Flying Cam is a very important um, a drone which uh, released the uh, Tara. It's, it's an electrical uh, system and it's a very long range system. So with Flying Cam, they come mainly from uh, from film production, and they are very well known over the past years, so very, very prominent, important um, film they were involved in. And now they start to focus also on providing with Regal Sensor and with Phase 1, they work together uh, and with Mena 3D for the region mainly to provide high-end solution. So for air mapping, defense, military, but uh, it's very important to mention also the role. The founder, Mr. Emmanuel uh, Previnere, he did, uh, received a lot of award, especially in the film production about the uh, Skyfall. Most of you know about the Skyfall 007. So I have been receiving a different Oscar. And uh, as I said, now from the film production, we are learning from their experience to provide a very important um, UAV uh, solution with phase one and regular to the surveying sector. As I did mention before, uh, they have two important discovery and SARA. SARA is a full electrical system, all designed and manufactured in Belgium. Again, uh, MENA 3D head office in Stuttgart, very close to, uh, to all the European sensor provider make our uh, life much easier because we are um, short distance in the factory and we can always meet and negotiate and check the customer need. So again, I will go back to the electrical uh, SARA, which is providing 10 kilometer range, 10 K payload and also 60 minute flight, which is with the 10 K we can provide, as I said, LiDAR and phase one sensor. So on the UAV, additionally also we can say the, um, for the beginner in the beginning who are not really um, 
able or they don't get permission. They want to go with commercial drone, uh, which is, let's say, less headache uh, from all the bureaucracy uh, they might off face with the government and authorities in their own country. Uh, DJI is well known as a commercial drone where you can uh, get it almost from any shelf. We have been working with DJI also very closely to provide and with the M300 almost one hour flight. I will talk later on about this P3 sensor advantage on 300, uh, the great advantage from uh, other sensor. Um, for the aerial mapping and UAV LiDAR scanning also with the, as I said, the commercial drone uh, like the M300 in the market, which is now the longest uh, time flight for the affordable good price. There's a possibility to mount uh, also from Regal on the M600, the Minivix, but there is also an L1 from DJI or from Green Value to mount on different DJI sensors, uh, sorry, drone. For the one who is not so familiar, in case someone joining the webinar and not so familiar with the aerial, uh, uh, aerial mapping and photogrammetry, it is a huge development and uh, most of us know there are some software uh, where you can convert out of, uh, especially when we come to the P3, to, to see the advantage of the speed, uh, it's amazing speed and, and the covering area that all this data can be simply converted to a complete 3D model. I will be showing one video slide with uh, Agisoft, our partner, and MetaShape software, which showing is a great advantage of uh, transferring all the photogrammetry to a nice 3D model. Definitely, nevertheless, about the orthophoto map, which all of us know out of the photogrammetry, getting all this orthophoto into CAD or GIS application. And here we will talk about the photogrammetry software. We worked very closely over the past eight years. Uh, Metashape, as I said, from Agisoft, it's a very uh, powerful software. It's a straightforward, and we have hundreds of licenses already provided to the market. Here showing this example on the facade, so even can be done by taking um, a photo for the facade and align all of them. The workflow is straightforward, just step by step. You can align and and um, generate a mesh, generate a great 3D model. And here comes the role of the high resolution texture for sure for the full color when you texture your model to have really amazing result. And we can see up to 130 million of uh, face here are taken and uh, more than 4 million pound cloud have been generated here out of this and 2,480 cameras you can see to the left side on the different application underwater image even processing can be done so the software offering really a nice and complete uh, solution again on the aerial mapping photogrammetry this sensors for um, maximum to 40 megapixels can be mounted on, on different VTOLs and drone, and we come to high resolution. From DJI have been introduced the P1, which is only limited to 48 megapixels, but the advantage when we can compare the two sensors, now we can see with the P3, that's a plug and play, you mount it into the M300 by plug and play and go with 100 megapixels on your M300 drone, which is really revolutionary. Um, here are some examples showing about the P1 and the idea behind that if one got low budget for sure can go with it. P1, but the one who really wants fast, higher accuracy and, and higher resolution. And for sure it's because of the resolution and accuracy are related always to each other. And to cover faster area and very mainly on a very sensitive area, then the P3 is the right for such application. And here I want to show a video example of uh, yeah, the, the great advantage and, and uh, the introduction of the IX100, which is a P3. Here it was mounted on M600, can be easy mounted on M600, but also can be mounted on M300. And explaining the three frame per second, which is, um, as I said, amazing speed. A uh, Dayan, I'm sure I will leave to Dayan because he will be focusing afterward about his uh, in his presentation about the role of the P3 and the advantage, great advantage of the P3. 
So I hope also uh, there will be some more question. And so, wow, well, 500 gear occasion guaranteed and simply SD card straight away and can be go to mainly we, we uh, as I said, we support Aggie Soft, but there are another software in the market can be taking the, uh, the photo in and then you can convert it all to very nice. So here is a solution. With the X600, this is nice photo. We're taking about 130, 135 meter height, and you can see the power uh, here on the floor. You can imagine the size. So we are talking about uh, some centimeters, and you can see on, on a high resolution from 135 what I can see, or the sewer, for example. Again, uh, there are some some sensors from. Um, um, TGI provided as a sensor with optical zoom, where you have to take different photos and between 10 and 20, and then to align all of them to teach and to generate, especially for power line inspection. But if I want to look uh, to the piecery here, you can see the great advantage was one shot, so it's only one photo shot, and I have a full view for power uh, line, and then you can zoom in and you can almost read all the details uh, and, the, and the power line. This slide I like very much because it's giving you an, a clear image about ground sampling distance down to three millimeters. So if I'm mounting different sensor uh, between the H20, P1, or P3, you can see the area you are covering if you are flying from 25 for this amp, and you can see on this amp about 25 meter far, the area you might cover, which is again uh, helping by producing a larger area much faster. So advantage of P3, uh, the highest resolution possible, the more safety distance, the larger cover for an area, and less images for short time flight. So high efficiency plus more safety. The slide I mentioned before, um, where is the relation and interrelation between all uh, partners we work with. So phase one, it uh, simply can be in, it's already integrated into Regal. Uh, phase one can be mounted on flying cam. Regal can be mounted on flight cam. Uh, Regal can be mounted on DJI. Phase one can be also mounted on DJI. So there is a lot of possibility to completely, with all our partners now, we can completely fulfill the need of any application and, and need of any end user uh, in the market to help them uh, by providing them the right solution which fits their budget. This is a very important slide. I thank also my colleague Costas who work on this slide and, and showing us completely here. Phase one, starting from P3, can be mounted on different uh, drone, as you see, from the M300 to the M600 can be mounted. 2.7 uh, kilo, the M300, up to the 5 kilo, up to 10 kilo, and for sure up to 30 kilo can be mounted any of them. Also, the Regal. Um, mini Vix Lyser can be mounted also, and the DJI M600, the SARA. So this is again explaining more in detail the relation between all the partners we have, and for sure on the discovery, which is a great because can be up to 30 kilo. Again, in higher, uh, the Vix Lyser system can be mounted from Regal on the SARA, and also on discovery with Phase One. Again. The fully integrated sensor of phase one for the top and high end LiDAR um, for uh, from Regal on maximum payload, on unlimited models, on aircraft, on the higher attitude. There uh, we have also a great platform. I thank you all for your uh, time and I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Uh, feel free to contact any of our office uh, you wish at any time. We'll be happy to support you and hopefully there will be some interesting question to answer. I will hand over again to Dan to talk uh, more about the uh, E3, and Dan, please uh, feel free to add on share with you. Thank you a lot, Dr. Khalid, thank you. It was a pleasure to see so many interesting things that MENA 3D is doing in the region, and now I would like to show some additional information about our P3. 
When it comes to P3, it's integrated gimbal solution that leverages phase one proven and trusted technology to deliver unmatched inspection productivity. Our P3 is offering basically the most versatile platform support. So it's your business and your decisions. As I already said, P3 is available in two versions. One is for DJI M300 and another is for Mavlink protocol communicating drones. It's carrying best in class sensor so you can make the most out of every flight. It has the largest imaging sensor. You can capture more in every shot. And it has the widest range of the lenses. And thanks to this, you can get more details from a bigger distance. And of course, on some of our lenses are supporting smart focusing. So in this way, you can make every shot count. Our P3 is basically including quick release interface. It has balancing system. It has built-in laser range finder. It has three axis stabilization and IXM camera and RSM lens. When you are choosing P3, you can choose either DJI or Mavlink version. So there comes dampening plate, interface cable, and interface documentation. You can choose your sensor between IXM 50 and IXM 100. And of course, you can choose your lenses between 35, 80, and 150 millimeter lens. Our cameras, IXM series, they are quite unique. They have a very high speed storage. So we are supporting XQD and CF Express memory cards. This is very important also because of the very high constant capture rate. So our cameras can capture up to three frames per second. So it doesn't matter on which drone you are going to use the camera. You can be sure that there won't be any gaps in the data because cameras, of course, depending on the flying speed, cameras can capture fast enough so you are safe with our camera. Uh, just some of the industries where we see that our P3 can be used are, for example, high value asset inspection. There we can mention examples of bridges, dams and nuclear facilities. We can, of course, mention high risk asset inspection, for example, power masts and oil refineries. In the examples from uh, Dr. Khalid, you could see that uh, just in one shot, you can capture the complete mast and there is no need for stitching multiple images. Even in one picture, you can see all necessary details. And of course, last but not least, I can mention time critical asset inspection, for example, offshore and nearshore wind turbines and offshore oil rigs. Uh, our P3, as I said, is coming as a two versions. So one is for Mavlink communication drones. So it's ready for integration. This means that uh, you get a complete kit that is ready for integration. So you need to do some adaptations to the kit and it can be used on any drone in the market that is using Mavlink communication. And the other version is actually ready for, ready for flight. It's for DJI M300 drone. And this is plug and play solution. So it's completely integrated into the DJI ecosystem. And thanks to this, you can use also DJI Pilot app for controlling the payload literally as any other DJI native payload. So there is no difference. This is increasing the productivity through also extended lens offer. And in this way, you can maximize the productivity with your DJI M300 drone. Here are some of the examples where we, for example, did a dam inspection. And you can see on this example where we are flying 25 meters away from the object with, for example, traditional payloads coming from DJI, you can capture only four square meters area, while with phase one IXM 100, with 35 meter millimeter lens, you can capture 706 square meters. This is actually thanks to our medium format sensor. And you can see that with phase one, you are much more productive than with other traditional sensors. And here is also one of the examples where we were tra targeting the best possible GSD with the longest lens combination. So you can see that 0.6 millimeter with the phase one IXM 100 with 150 millimeter lens are providing you the possibility to cover 42 square meters. And uh, for example, with DJI H20, if you are trying to achieve almost similar DSD, so 0.7 millimeter, you can capture only 4.2 meter square meters. So you can see that with phase one, you are 10 times more productive. With our wide range of lenses, you can be sure that the productivity and safe operation will be working as promised. So you are not making any compromise based on image quality and your productivity. 
And one more important note to mention is the fact that all phase one lenses are calibrated from the factory and uh, they are providing the highest quality standards. Here is also one of the examples of power mast inspections. So thanks to our smart focus, you can be sure that the rangefinder will help you to get the best possible results. Our rangefinder that is integrated on the P3 has an effective range of up to 180 meters. So it's me constantly measuring the distance between drone and the camera to the object. And uh, thanks to our smart focus lenses, it's adapting the focal length and you can be sure that the uh, images will be crystal crisp and they will have the best possible image quality. Thank you a lot for listening to our webinar. I hope it was at least slightly interesting. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the chat here, or be, also feel free to contact Dr. Khalid or myself directly on our contact details that are mentioned here in slides. And now my colleague Tina that was collecting the questions during the webinar will tell us if we have received any questions during the webinar. Please, Tina, can you tell us if there were any interesting questions? Yes, um, thanks, Dejan. Um, yes, we have um, a few questions so far. Um, let me just start with the first one. Um, how does the camera MP3 affect stability of the aircraft? Thank you for asking, Tina. Yeah, that's a very interesting question. I mean, since P3 is not native payload coming from DJI, I mean, I expected this question. But the good thing is that this is really plug and play solution. So there is no difference. I mean, on DJI Pilot app, when you go to settings, there is an option for auto calibration. You just take off and leave the drone in hovering mode and perform auto calibration. And the drone will perform as with any other native payload coming from DJI. I hope this answers your question. Thank you. Um, let me just go over to the next question, which is, can I use the RTK of the drone with phase one cameras? Yes, yes, of course. I mean, this this payload coming from phase one is fully integrated into DJI ecosystem. So you can use all the features coming from DJI M300. One of them is, of course, RTK. It can be used. And um, we have the last question for the moment, unless we get some, a few more, um, looking into um, data processing. Can I process the data in PIX4D Agisoft software? Yes, uh, phase one camera is using a native IIQ file format, but uh, thanks to our software, you can convert our images to TIFFs, and these TIFFs can be post-processed in any kind of post-processing software. So you can use either Agisoft Metashape, you can use PixWorthy Mapper, or any other software that is being used for commercial post-processing of the data. Thank you, Dejan. Um, this is the last question for the moment. Um, let me just hand back over to you. Thank yeah, you. Understood. Thank you, Tina, a lot. And also thanks to everybody who was participating in our webinar. Please feel free in case there are any questions popping up in the following days. Don't hesitate. Please contact Dr. Khalid or myself directly and we will give our, our best to provide you the answers. And of course, in case you are interested also in seeing the payload in the action, please be aware that uh, MENA 3D and Phase 1 are also participating in Dubai Airshow. So also besides this, we are planning a big uh, roadshow in September where we will visit all important customers and uh, interested parties. And we will show you also P3 in the action and you will be able to see what you can actually expect from such a high-end sensor and what are also the new applications where you might use the P3 in order to leverage your productivity. Thank you once again also Dr. Khalid for participating in the webinar and uh, I believe also, Thank you very much. We, are, we are going to be able to provide the best possible support for the region. Thank you once again. I am sure. Thank you also from my side and stay all safe. Looking forward to welcome you at the Dubai Air Show, as they mentioned, or in any of our uh, roadshow. And please uh, don't forget at the 18th of November, we are planning at the end of the Dubai Air Show, and also a technical seminar. You are welcome to see the P3 to try to fly the drone and to practice and see your own result. So 18 of November would be the last day of Dubai Air Show, and additionally, you will receive from us an invitation for our technical seminar, which is taking 
a place at the moment in the convention center if they allow we need to check for the COVID-19 situation but it's look good that 18 of November uh, in our convention center in our uh, office in Dubai at the JAFSA one uh, towers thank you very much everyone thank you Dayan thank you Tina for organizing and stay all safe thank you thank you a lot Dr Khalid and once again thanks to everybody at the audience and uh, if you have any questions just contact us and we will be there to answer all the questions Thank you, stay safe and have a nice afternoon. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye.